Vegas came out with the win totals of each team in college football. So let's talk about them and see if they'll go over or under this year. This part, we do have Maryland. And as you can see, their win total is set at seven and a half. So let's look at their schedule and see if they'll go over or under. So I do think Maryland will be a very middle of the road Big Ten team this year, or maybe on the upper end of that middle tier. I really do see them starting their season five and oh. Unless Aiden Childs is a gift from God, I don't think any of those teams will contest them. And then the two games I think they're almost locked to lose is Oregon and Penn State. I know I didn't put an X on Penn State, but I think they're going to lose. And then they play a bunch of Big Ten teams that are pretty similar to them as in Northwestern, Minnesota, Rutgers, and Iowa. Now, personally, I think Minnesota is going to be a bit worse this year, so I would give them the win there. But then you got teams like Northwestern, USC, and Rutgers, who were all bowl teams last year, and they're looking to improve on that record this coming year. And then finally, you got Iowa, which your guess is as good as mine on how that team's going to be. Probably a super elite defense with maybe a lackluster offense. So for the seven and a half line, I think is honestly a pretty perfect line. If I had to bet today on it, I think I would bet the under. But I really do think they go either seven and five or eight and four. So personally, I would not bet on this line.